Hello. In this video, we'll be discussing a simple neural network design using TensorFlow, Keras API, and here we use MNIST classification. So MNIST is a dataset which contains numerical data. And here we have a set of images with numbers, and we're trying to predict the number by training the neural network with the training data and testing upon our training. So let's get started. So first, let's import some of, some libraries. So here we import some of this Python libraries required and NumPy, and also we import Keras libraries required to design this neural network. We're not going to go deeper into the Keras API or libraries that we are going to use in this tutorial. But let's take a look at the application. So in the first stage, what we had to do is we had to load the data. So in Keras, we can download the MNIST dataset using the API. And let's first just download the data. So while download is happening, what we're trying to do here is split the data into training and testing samples. So each training dataset has features and labels. And now we have downloaded the data and populated training and testing data. Let's take a look at some of the sample data. So here we are trying to get the length of unique labels in this training data set. So let's print the valid number of labels. It's 10, because in this example, we are trying to categorize numbers between zero and nine. And now let's try to categorize these numbers using a one head vector. So all these categories has string values and we're trying to get numeric values for that one. So let's take a look at some of these values. So this is by training data. So the label has been added here. If you take a look at zero element, And you can see these values. Okay, some of the sample values here. And now let's take a look at another step. So in order to data to be feeded into the network, we had to do some reshaping. Don't worry too much about these details because depending on the neural network architecture and the input layer shape, we have to reshape the data. So just ignore that part for now. So we do this transformation for all the training and testing data. And here, we are trying. what we are trying to do is we, we normalize the data. So in the training step, uh, all the data is normalized and it helps uh, for the training process. And now let's create a simple Keras model. Here, what we are going to do is we define a batch size. Batch size is the amount of data points used per training in uh, one mini batch. So we can change this number depending on the training performance accuracy, we can change this number. And also there's a concept called hidden units in neural networks. We are not going to go into much details but here we had 64 hidden units. And then let's create the neural network. So we define the Keras model called sequential and add the dense layer uh, with input shapes. And then add another dense layer, which is going to predict the classes. And finally, a softmax layer, which is going to give us the correct class labels. And here we had a model summary and it prints the model summary. So this is convenient. So it says the number of layers added and number of the output shape and the number of parameters. 